Welcome to the SoundBridge Music Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shape the local music scene, but who joined with SoundBridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and to bring communities together. We are so happy to be here today with Bonnie and Taylor Sims of Bonnie and the Clydes, the SoundBridge Music Featured Artist for May 2018. Bonnie and the Clydes are one of the foremost front-range bands, pioneering their unique sound of Rocky Mountain country soul. The band has been making waves with powerful and memorable live performances for the past seven years. Bonnie and Taylor maintain a full schedule, not only touring stateside and overseas with the band, but also teaching and speaking at engagements. They've received numerous awards, and their latest album, Dear Somebody, was awarded People's Choice and Best Country Album of 2016 by Colorado Playlist. So Bonnie and Taylor have been kind enough to uh, welcome us into their home and answer some of our questions today. Thank you so much for having us here. You're welcome. We're excited. So the two of you have become pretty well-known uh, characters in the music scene around here lately. What's it like? What's it been like to become a bit of a household name? Well, it's, um, I just feel like we play a lot of gigs, so you can't get away from reading on a poster somewhere eventually. Um, yeah, but I, other I than think, that, I mean, I think what she's saying is it's, it's nice, you know, it's yeah. nice yeah. to be known and it's nice to, uh, to have fans and, and, uh, have people show up at the, at the shows, you know, that's always awesome. good. You know, that's the, that's the idea. But, um, but yeah, this, this community and this, town in this area has been very uh very good to us mm -hmm. so um we we appreciate everything that the people have done for us so we we love it we love being a household name in longmont so uh, any uh, any projects coming up that you guys are particularly excited about you know we have a full summer of gigs so we're definitely a working band so we play a lot of shows and um, planning on doing some recording at the end of August, September, hopefully, looking at that. So, um, have a ton of new songs that we've been playing for about a year and a half. Our last album was 2016, so it's been a little bit. We're pretty ready for the next yeah. one. We've had some personnel change. So, we got a new drummer, Todd Moore, has been um, really amazing and just changed the sound a lot. So, it's exciting to kind of be in the next phase, basically, of buying the Clydes. Yeah. So the two of you, not only husband, wife, co-creators, bandmates, uh, what's that like? What are the kind of challenges, rewards, and everything else that comes along with that? Hmm. Well, there's definitely a lot of rewards. I mean, we got married and did this together because we love hanging out. And I'll say I love hanging out with you. And, yeah. And there's definitely Ditto. Ditto there's definitely yeah. challenges too. I'm def I, you know I'm stubborn and I move really quick. Tay and I are kind of different speeds of people. And so we have to kind of balance that out, balance out our communication styles, I think, more than anything. Yeah. But we share a car, too, so we, like, literally are, we're... One car family, always together. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's, it's great. It's, uh, uh, I, I couldn't picture another way to be. Um, and, you know, I remember when I first heard Bonnie sing and we started hanging out more socially. We didn't start dating first. We started, we started just picking tunes, playing bluegrass music together and singing songs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I need to be near that, whatever it takes. And so I knew from very early on that it was, um, that, that was going to be it for me. You know, I was like, Oh, I'm going to hitch my wagon to the shooting star and call it good. <laughs> So, but I mean, it is, it is, it is challenging, you know, life is a balance. And so, yeah. um, uh, we, we compliment each other, um, most of the time and, mm -hmm. uh, and try and work through the issues when they come up. But all in all, I feel like we're pretty lucky, you know, uh, that's amazing. What's the, uh, what's the songwriting process like? Do you do much writing together, write individually? Very separate, I think mm -hmm. I would say. Well, it, and his, we, historically, we, it's been very separate. And well, mm -hmm. we bring each other for a critique. We definitely mm -hmm. do that. But then we like. Sometimes we'll try to write a song together, but I feel like the songs that get finished are the ones that like one person is in charge of. Don't you think that's more true? It's yeah. I feel like they have. We more, have started a lot. Of they songs. have more of more steam. You know, the ones mm -hmm. that are like ninety percent done, and then the other will come in and say, "Oh, maybe this word, or, or maybe this chord, this chord or mm -hmm. maybe go to the bridge here, or." you know, just little suggestions that really put it over the top. 
But more more recently, we have written a few songs together from start to finish. Just so, kind of on that same theme, uh, what what inspiration lies behind your music? That's a good question. Um, I think it the songwriting process and the lyrics, I think, tend to come from a personal place, like most songwriters, and and our interpretation of the world and the current state of political affairs. You know, it seems to be a easy one to to uh, or at least there's a lot to talk about I'll say that mm -hmm. um, but it, but you know m musically for me it comes from all kinds of different places mm -hmm. you know I'm a I'm a uh, old-school country fan um, which is not hard to tell I don't think but um, but I love you know I love western I love swing. jazz I love western swing um, I love uh, Basically anything acoustic. I'm a big, you know, I love fingerstyle acoustic. Guitar. Yeah, fingerstyle guitar, Chad Atkins, Jerry Reed. Those are the kind of stuff for me that give me new ideas and help me propel uh, forward with uh, with music and with guitar and stuff. But mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, Veronica. You know, well, I love I'm I love playing mandolin and guitar. I love I love it, I, but I feel like deep down, like if I talk about where I feel most expressive, it's singing for sure. And so for me, I identify a lot with singers and I love people. I literally love anybody that gets after it. And that doesn't have to be like a volume or a intensity thing. People like Nora Jones gets after it the way she does it. You know, it's like this whispery, sultry. I just love anybody who like picks something and cultivates it and like develops a style and I can recognize their voice from the second I hear them. Like Dolly or like Alison Krauss or like so many of these amazing female singers, like you hear three words and you're like, I know who that is. So that's what I've always aspired to do is just really amplify myself and figure that out and be creative the way I want to be creative vocally and not put myself in a box. So, I listen. <laughs> so after, after buying the Clyde show, when folks are walking out of the doors, what do you want them to be feeling? Mm. Um, like they know us a little bit. First yeah, of all. I don't want them to... Like from they, our songs, hopefully. Yeah, take a little piece of our soul with them yeah. as they go um, and uh, and have a tune in their head, hopefully, mm -hmm. and an idea to to carry them into the next day. But, um, and I want yeah, them to feel we, energized. Yeah, I want them to feel like, like, excited and electric. That was, and, something uh, just happened. Yeah. Something definitely happened. I don't, you can like it or hate it, but it happened. Yeah. So that's what I want them to know. Um, what what inspired you to become a part of Soundbridge music? Well, um, I think it uh, was just the greater Longmont community as we became yeah. more a part of the the Longmont music scene and then the greater Front Range music scene. Heard what scene. you guys were doing, got yeah, interested. We, yeah, I think from the first time we heard what, what Soundbridge was doing, we were, you know, it was very easy for us to be like, oh, Awesome. And, I, yeah, and I do feel like the longer I play, and I know Tay feels this too, it's like the more we think like, also how can we use this for other people too and not just as a commodity because capitalism and we are making, you know, it's like that's the game or whatever, but also it's something bigger than that and it's outside of, it exists outside of that too. And I want to honor that and I love like, we're going to play the musical Medicine Day on the 12th mm -hmm. um, for Longmont and Tay's worked with... Um, developing disabled adults. That was his side job for like years mm -hmm. here in Colorado. He worked for Imagine. So it, I mean, it means a lot to us to be able to take music to that group and be like, mm -hmm. this is a day about, yeah. you know, how awesomely expressive music can be for everyone. I love that. Oh, so if folks want to uh, hear your music or see what's going on, where can they do that? They can do that uh, at bonnieandherclides.com, our full, full uh, uh, calendar and schedule and Pictures, pictures bio, videos, music. All the. Uh, you can sign up on our email list to find out more. Please do, actually. I only have 95 subscribers, so if five more people, we're in triple digits, okay? <laughs> so, you one know. Of the final five. And we're talking to you. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> well, anything else you'd like to share with your fans or the folks out there who are listening? Um, no, I don't think yeah. so. More than uh, anything, we're excited about the summer, so yeah. we hope you check out our schedule and come see a show. We're in Denver and Fort Collins a bunch. We've kind of been focusing on Boulder County the last few years. And so this year our goal was to kind of spread back out and get all up and down the I-25 corridor. And so we've been doing that. So come out and see a show. If you haven't seen Bonnie and the Clydes perform, 
Check them out May 26th at The Barn in Longmont, Colorado at 7.30. And check out their website, bonnieandherclients.com, for more information. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back in June for our next Featured Artist of the Month. If you are interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org.